Here is how to pop the Golden Bloom in BTD6 and the stats behind it. So the Golden Bloom was added in update 24 as an extra way of getting monkey money in Bloom's TD6. It's a very nice way to add a little bit of extra reward in your games and maybe an incentive to clear out some maps, but also as a way to farm money easier for people that have been in a decent portion of the game and the first time rewards are not available to them. This video is going to contain some testing I did on the Golden Bloons, stats like what's their reward, how much HP they have and their properties, but if you're not interested in any of that stuff just skip towards the end to see how to always pop them and set up your defenses. So the Golden Bloon appears on one random map in each map difficulty. Each map is going to have this small Golden Bloon over it indicating that if you play this map on any game mode it's going to contain a golden bloon. But even though I'm talking in singular as in one bloon, there's actually more than one bloon spawning in a single game and the number of golden bloons that are going to spawn depends entirely on the difficulty you're playing on. So golden bloons spawn randomly with one golden bloon spawning within 10 rounds starting from round 21. There's going to be one golden bloon spawned from rounds 21 to 30, one spawned from rounds 31 to 40, one spawned from rounds 41 to 50 and so on until you have reached free play mode in the difficulty you're playing on. So for example, let's say you're playing on easy mode. Easy mode has 40 rounds, it plays out from rounds 1 to 40. And on easy mode, free play starts at round 41. You will get one golden bloon for the 20s and one for the 30s, so two golden bloons in total in easy mode. And this goes to be 4 golden bloons on medium, 6 golden bloons on hard mode and 8 golden bloons on impoppable mode. So now let's talk about the properties and general info about the golden bloons and we'll move into strategy and towers later on. We know that the maximum amount of golden bloons we can get is 8, so what is the difference between all of them? Well golden bloons are complicated and they work differently than normal bloons. Let's start with their properties. No matter the round they spawn on, all golden bloons have a common property that no other bloons in the game have and that is that after being hit they speed up become untargetable for a short period of time and sometimes jump randomly back and forth on the track. On top of this, they gain special properties depending on the round they spawn on. The golden bloom spawn in the 20s, so rounds 21 to 30, is always going to have no properties, meaning you can damage it with every damage type. The golden bloom in the 30s though is always going to be a camo bloom. The one in the 40s is always going to be a lead bloom, the one in the 50s is a camo lead bloom, the one in the 60s is a camo lead fortified bloom, the one in the 70s is a camo lead fortified purple golden bloom, the one in the 80s is a camo lead fortified purple zebra golden bloom, and the last one, the one in the 90s, is the same as the one in the 80s, again, a camo lead fortified purple zebra golden bloom. And huge shout out to reddit user Hello Majestic for the properties. Testing these golden blooms is really hard since we can't spawn them in free play yet, so we have to beat them one by one and see what happens. And if this wasn't complicated enough, each golden bloom has different amounts of HP and HP seems to work differently on them, unlike all the other blooms. Here are the HP numbers for all 8 possible golden bloom spawns in the game and the HP amount stays the same irregardless of the map difficulty you're playing on. So if I'm correct on this, all attacks made on the Golden Bloon have their damage reduced to 1. So to give you guys an example, let's say the first Golden Bloon has 7 HP and there is a Zebra Bloon spawning from our normal rounds. If we have a 2-0-0 Sniper, he's going to need 1 shot to take out the Zebra Bloon and 7 shots to take out the Golden Bloon. In between shots, the Golden Bloon will become untargetable and will gain a small speed buff for a short time and even skip forwards or backwards on the track so immediately we know that fast attacking towers will not work. In fact, whenever the balloon is getting hit by a fast attacking tower, you're just triggering the invulnerability and it keeps speeding up and bouncing all over the place. So I did a lot of testing around these golden balloons and these are the stats. We talked about how many of them spawn on each game mode, but the reward of each golden balloon varies with the map difficulty and here's where things get interesting. I've read a lot of reddit comments saying that the golden blooms are bad and way too OP and that they need to get nerfed and I disagree with that. Let's start with the amounts of monkey money you get on a beginner map on easy mode. As I mentioned earlier, easy mode will have 2 golden blooms and since we are playing on a beginner map, the reward will be 2 monkey money for each of them or a total of 4. Beating easy mode gives you 15 monkey money and if we add the reward from the golden blooms, it's going to be a total of 19 monkey money or a 27% increase. And these are baby numbers, we don't want to play easy mode and we certainly don't want to play beginner maps if we know the rewards scale a lot. So let's move to the experts for a minute. 
If we want to get the most amount of cash through golden blooms, we need to farm in poppable mode on an expert map, but it's not that simple and I'll explain why in a minute, but let's look at the stats first. Impoppable mode spawns 8 golden blooms, but as you guys might have noticed, the first 4 reward us with 5 monkey money per golden bloom popped, but the next 4 give 10 monkey money per golden bloom popped. And this is where things get interesting. The reward for beating impoppable mode on an expert map is 240 monkey money, and if we add the reward of all of the golden blooms, it adds up to 300 monkey money in total, or a 25% increase. This is a very good increase in money gained. I mean golden blooms weren't meant to be this cash pile in which you just take out as much as you want and spend it wherever. It's just a helping hand for players that need monkey money to have their grind become a little bit easier. But as I mentioned earlier there is a slight problem with this and that is that golden blooms quickly become complicated to deal with and since expert maps usually have at least two or more entrances and exits, covering all of them will become an issue and you will likely miss a few while rushing to set up your defenses. Let's move on to how to pop the golden balloon. Well, popping it is pretty easy actually, but you do need to be careful on how you position your towers and even avoid some to not have them interfere with the whole thing. As I mentioned, expert maps usually have at least two or more entrances and exits, the cache is tight and they are difficult to plan around specifically for the golden balloon, so if you want to grind monkey money through golden balloons, my recommendation is to play advanced maps on impoppable mode. This way you will get a decent amount of total monkey money which is 228 or a 27% increase and an insta monkey on top of that for beating around 100. As I mentioned a property that golden blooms get later on is on target ability unlike any other balloon in the game. After getting hit they will speed up and become untargetable for a short period of time so by now most of you have realized that the best tower versus the golden balloon is the 012 ice tower and that is correct although it's not that simple. So when playing on a map with the golden balloon make sure to not have anything else hit the golden balloon besides your ice tower and it will slowly take it down while keeping it permanently frozen. The only tower that is supposed to be hitting it is the ice tower and nothing else and you need to make sure of this. No snipers, no helis, no big range towers, no projectiles wandering around hitting the golden balloon and always get the defenses behind and away from the ice tower. Something you guys should also look to do is to get a 3 to 0 village as well as consider upgrading the ice tower to arctic wind to increase its pierce cap because if it gets overloaded well it's gonna leak the golden balloon and once it's out of the ice towers range well you're gonna have to wait for the next one. Here is an example of which towers to use and how to set them up. Solda is amazing for golden blooms maps since she is melee, she is strong early on and allows you to start farming early and towers like the tag zone and the perma spike at the end are going to be everything you need to beat in poppable mode in your runs. Get the ice tower in front, get an MIB village for it before round 41 and make sure to have small range non-global towers that are not going to mess with the ice tower popping the golden balloon. That is how you beat the golden balloon every single time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you did make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.